Osteen be saying? <laughs> Who? Oh. No, no, he does. <laughs> Who said Joel that? Osteen. Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen. Oh. His favorite pastor. Yeah. That ain't my favorite pastor. That switches pastor. Switch pastor? Yeah. Nah, that ain't switches pastor. <laughs> nah, but he was in the news again. Um, yeah. What happened? Oh, so boy. apparently he was out driving a Ferrari and what? people th- yeah, a 488 I think it was, 48 Spider. And uh people thought that he owned it. Mm-hmm. And it oh. was his. Oh, it was a Bow Wow challenge? You rented rent it? Oh. He was out in Miami? Turns out no. <laughs> Turns out it's not even his. It wasn't his uh-huh. at all. Never was. And uh, the publication that came out with the article had to pretty much retract it. Had to retract it. But he got cars, though. (laughs) He got private jets and yachts. and. (laughs) So so that's the question, right? Is it wrong for a pastor to have a Ferrari? No. Uh Uh-oh. Why? Look, well, in the case of Joe Lowstein, he is uh he is a uh, he's a best selling author, right? right? So he got right. bread. He right. got bread. You know what I mean? So he can't have one. Yeah. Yes. So that's nothing. You know what I'm saying? How much is that? How much is that Rari? You probably guess like he's got dozens of books, don't he? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could just imagine his 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 publisher publisher is just like, yo, how much you need, bro? For another book, here you go. I'm sure Kirk Franklin got something like that. Oh yeah, book. What you know? A Rari. I'm just saying, like the price. He got it like that. I'm saying, like it's because it's a Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? Like a Ferrari, yeah, it could be a hundred thousand, but we could look at a Mercedes and not blink twice. But that same Mercedes could cost just as much as the Ferrari. Right. That's true. But Kirk, like the McLaren. Yeah. Kirk I guess the issue for me is like the the luxury scales, you know what I'm saying? Like we just came from vacation, you know what I'm saying? And spent right. whatever amount of money and we make a certain amount of money. So if this guy makes millions of dollars, you know, and that's in his budget, then who are we to judge him? You know what I mean? Right. I guess, right. You know what I'm saying? Would you go to like many of us? Would be, many of us would be like, "Oh no, he don't need that." You know, he's robbing from you know people would be like he's robbing from his church or whatever it may be. But mm-hmm. I just try to check myself with that stuff because you know we buy we buy clothing, we buy stuff. You know, not all, not all of us, but I'm sure we all have different luxuries that are expensive for our taste, right? So yeah, where I mean, do we draw the line as believers for ourselves, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. I mean, if if you're, I think the statistic is if you're making over uh, thirty thousand dollars, you're part of the one percent in the world. In the world, right? yeah. Wow. In the That's world. Facts. So That's facts. So I'm rich, imagine, baby. Right. And then imagine <laughs> <laughs> somebody out there who you know makes you know a hundred dollars a month, two hundred dollars a month, and they see us, you know, with our Yeezys or what other sneakers ain't got? Oh. <laughs> he got he got them Clarks in the back right now. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you know, you know, and we got all these nice fancy equipment. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So mm. I guess the same. But the question still goes: If your pastor got a Ferrari, like number one, would you still attend that church? And number two, is it wrong for him to have it or her? Mm. I mean, I think we answered that. I don't, we don't think that is wrong. You answer. You answer. You said you don't think it's wrong, but you didn't answer if you still go to the church. You don't go to church I now. To, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yo, I used. To, I used to go to. I used to go to a church uh, back in two thousand two before it was a thing. 2002 and the pastor the bishop had a bentley <laughs> back in 2002 was on, bro was he on that show that reality show um Preachers. he was on a rea- he was on a re- yep he was on oh that he show. was he oh, was okay, on that okay. show yeah uh, yeah he was and he had a bentley back then now he said that somebody gave it to him 
right? Mm-hmm. He said that um some like Arab dude, I don't remember, I don't remember what, but the dude said that he heard him preaching and he, he said he wasn't a Christian, but he felt that he should give him the car and he gave him the car. So we don't really know, like, like just because someone has something nice, like you don't know how they obtained it, you know, what they've done, what type of sacrifices, you know. Because I've also heard a lot of those prosperity preachers um, say things like where they've given cars away, like their own cars. Like they just bought a new car and they felt they heard the spirit of the Lord say, give it to, you know, whomever. And they gave it away. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's, it's difficult to to kind of base it off of that. Now, I wouldn't go to Joel Osteen's church for different reasons, you know, not because of the car he drives. Mm. Okay. Mm. Not yeah, I'll go to the church because you know when I, once I start, you know, plugging into that church, or if I'm giving any tops, yo, that's that's our Ferrari now. <laughs> <laughs> he said the Acts Two Church, right? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take that mentorship, man. How get one, how get me one of these, man? Right, yeah, that's, that's oh, our man. joint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what you talking that's about? That's funny. <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's very difficult, man, because for me, especially because it's like, you know, I, I compare my own lifestyle, right? Like we would say this is a blessed life that we live, right? We're fortunate to have health. Uh, I'm not rich in no kind of way, but, you know, yeah. you know, we have more than what others have. Um, so yeah, it just becomes real different. You you have you have more than probably what you had when you was a kid. <clears throat> right. Yeah. You know? Exactly. For sure. I know I do. And then my kids definitely have more than what I had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, no, my father. Well, my parents looked out. Oh, for sure. I'm not saying that they didn't, you know what I mean? But it was different times, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's so, you know, now. I try not to judge it, but yeah. I mean, there are also the scriptures of warning against, you know, loving money, being lovers of money, uh, you know, and that doesn't just happen with the rich. You know what I'm saying? That happens with with the middle class or even the poor. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. There might be someone that's poor and we think, oh, yeah, because they're poor, they don't love money. Nah, they could they could be beasting or greedy for money as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially in America where, you know, everywhere you look, social media or you look, you know, it's like a, com- a competitive thing. You know, who has the best dress, who has the best uh, whatever car or jewelry or vacations. Right. All those things, um, uh, you know, it becomes difficult. But we got to just guard our hearts. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that we're making the right decisions with money. Um and uh, how we use it as a tool, you know what I'm saying? And giving back. So back. so do you think that kind of switching the topic a little bit, do you think that Christians should be taking luxury vacations? <laughs> What's luxury vacation, <laughs> you what you vacation, huh? <laughs> vacation, vacation, <laughs> vacation <laughs> All right, so Christians should Christians be taking vacations? Yeah, yo, the Bible, the Bible, all about rest, yo. I need more vacation. Word, I need more he vacations. Said, yo, Switch said he's a jubilee. <laughs> I'm in my year jubilee. Man. I cracked up when he said that. <laughs> yo, I, so for said. y'all that are out there, right? The joke is, right? I've been I've been unemployed. For about a year and a half, right? Or something like that. I just went back to work, right? So, but then I go back to work and then now I'm on a vacation like two weeks after being at work. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, oh yeah, uh, take another week off because uh, COVID hit the office. Uh, you know, take a pay, we, you know, we'll pay you or whatever for, for the week or whatever. So I was like, so I was like, yo, it's my year of Jubilee, man. It's two right, year of Jubilee right. going on. <laughs> this is what the kingdom like, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Sign me up. Living it up, boy. You know what I mean? Now nah, you know, you, Jimmy, yeah. you do vacations or you only do them on, on, on timeshares? <laughs> I only do them on timeshares, bro. I can't find a timeshare yet. 
You know, like like for me, man, to be honest, like I've been I've been broke most of my life. You know what I'm saying? So so to, for me, a vacation is luxury. So yeah, hustling them timeshares is like the only way, you know. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not opposed to I'm not opposed to vacations, man. I think that vacations are good. I think that um it's a great opportunity to create memories with your with your family, with your children, you know what I mean, where you're not you don't have any type of distractions, you know, uh that you normally would at home. For those who can afford them, I think that they should do them, you know. For me, I think that I need to. I would love to have one. Um, I, th- I also think that I also think it's a great opportunity when you go on vacation to instill in your children like the importance of saving, you know, towards something, you know, and not getting indebted. Um, you know, I think like, look, you know, Bobby was able to afford this because you know God blessed me with a good job, and every job I saved up X amount of dollars, you know, whatever, whatever, to put towards this so that we can celebrate together, we can enjoy this together, right? Mm-hmm. Um, me because uh, I didn't have I didn't have a lot of money um, in my in my younger adulthood. Um, I can't afford that luxury, you know what I'm saying? Because I got to think about my, my retirement. Um, I got to think about my, my my children. You know what I mean? Um, Bible says that a righteous man leaves an inheritance for his children's children, right? So for me, um, that's number one. You know what I mean? Like I if if I don't know I don't I. Like, don't disclose what you spent, right? But let's just say you spent, like, let's say you spent anywhere from two to five thousand dollars. Like for me, I would rather put that in an account so they can accrue interest in twenty years. You know, what I'm saying I could get that back. I'm not opposed to vacations because once I have, you know, the number that's in my head that I need, you know what I mean, for for yeah. my savings for my investments, I'm definitely gonna take a vacation, bro. You know what I mean? But um right now it's just not not something that you know i might do like a road trip here and there you know what i mean but to, yeah. to fly out somewhere or, or something to like go that to like, like jamaica or something like yeah right yeah now nah, my, my my bread just isn't <laughs> you know you know like you seen that meme right that says like you know twenty dollars in the bank but a hundred in, in 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 savings or whatever and I, i'm yeah, broke yeah, right yeah, i tell yeah. everybody i'm broke like that's kind of like you know what i mean like i'm not i'm not missing any meals now you know what i mean like you know me and my wife are good right now but it's just trying to play catch up for the years that, you know, I, I, I didn't have any bread, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But I'm not opposed to it. I, th- I think that it's great. I think, I think it's great for family. I think a lot more families should do it, you know, even if it's yeah. local, right? Like think of ways that you can just, you know, drive an hour out to see, like what they call it a staycation, you know? Yeah. 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 You know, like I think, so I think Vegas is like a staycation for me. Cause that's only a few hours away, you know? Um, How far is that from like three, six four, hours? Six. Something like that. Really? I don't. Yeah, something oh, like that. I really. Bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. This has been. It's been years since I drove out there. Ahead. Possibly, possibly. I. I really don't have a clue. Sorry. Yeah, but I'm not opposed to it. You know, I, I think. I think that 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 is good. You know what I mean? Like, you earned it. Why not do it? You know. Yeah. Um. I what I would love to do though, like in all honesty, what I love to do, I. I don't. I don't know if anybody's down like in my family like right like you think like oh uh 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 uh, parasailing in jamaica or my idea uh doing a missions trip somewhere right Mm -hmm. like i would rather do a missions trip somewhere um like go somewhere wherever right wherever you want to go you know in jamaica but it's right but instead do it there right but i think that i think probably nine times out of ten the kids will probably be like nah <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> i want to go snorkeling <laughs> i want to swim with sne- uh, uh sea turtles you know what i mean and pet the dolphins yeah you ain't staying at a resort they like no nah. right no no you stayed in the hut sleeping on the floor and all that right yeah 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 that's nah, just jokes man thanks but yeah Let's man switch. Let's get All right, word. Uh, so Switch ain't got no problem with vacations. You already know that. What do you mean, Switch? Uh, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm cool with vacations. I, I feel like I need more vacations. Jesus. No, I, I, thought, uh, I thought Jay was asking you. More getaways. Switch. Yo, Switch is if vacation was a person. <laughs> right? No, no, <laughs> no. Your man took a vacation right, from his vacation. You saw? That was at the pool day. <laughs> Yo, look at this dude. He look like Santa Claus. <laughs> Yo, your man look like Bob the Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm burnt, man. I'm burnt, man. But yo, look, man, I feel like, and I really feel this way, and I know it's wrong, but I feel like uh 
a good, I mean, a good chunk of my life, I was working hard, like 16 right. hours. Right. I was working at work, doing Uber, wait, you know, sleeping four or five hours. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm due, was, man. You like was if doing, I just do. You was doing this. You were doing this when, when, like, when we met, when we first met. You was doing the Uber. You was right. doing all the other stuff. Yeah, I remember that. So I, I feel like, yo, I got my just do right now. I'm just relaxing and enjoying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Like you earned it, you know. You earned yeah. it. They done wrong with that. But yeah, man. So we got that word of the day. We got Matthew 12, 48, 50. It says, but he replied. This is speaking of Jesus. But mm -hmm. he replied to the man who told him, who is my mother and who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. That's cool. Mm. Mm. Right? That's facts, though, right? Bars. It's factual. So That's all them unsaved family members, you tell them, yo, you're not really my cousin, bro. Aunt's my cousin. Better by ya. Better by Jimmy's my brother. Better by Jay's my father. <laughs> my uncle. <Yeah. laughs> this is my father. <laughs> right, right. He's my real father. Papa Jay. Dame una peseta, papi. That's dope. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, well, good to good, good good. I'm glad that um you fellas had an opportunity to 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 vacation with your families and kind of you know um just minister you know what i mean and 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 sharing that time i think that is a dope blessing man 